Hello? Put it out. There's a dude here. <clears throat> hey, suit dude, I guess you're the new owner. Yeah. Which one of the boats is the fastest? It's already in the water, dude. I thought you might want to try her out. Dude, she's already running with a 300 horsepower and engine. And the fiberglass hull? She just shoots through the waves. She can do like zero to 60 in four seconds flat, oh, dude. And she can hold like 20 bales of the best Jamaican yeah, smoke yeah. right in the hull. So go ahead, dude. She's ready to fly. Yo, yo, uh, suit dude. You got a light? Dude. Dude. Hold up your arms and sing all to me, my sky sailing pregnant moon, the goddess. Pregnant moon? What are you talking about, Gethsemane? Gethsemane. Just sorry, whatever. Do you even have a last name? My compost coven named me Gethsemane, Starhawk Moonmaker. Trust me. I'm quite accustomed to people persecuting us. It's been going on for thousands of years. Native Americans, they studied crystals. The ancient Chinese, the Elchins, Superman, they all studied crystals. So why do you view it as so weird? Grab your crystal, hold it tight, and close your eyes. You will be transported back 35,000 years when the temperature of Europe began to drop. The tundra was teeming with animal life, and small groups of hunters followed the free-running reindeer. And there, under the magnolia tree, a woman breastfeeding a baby elk. Do you see it? It's nature. Ew, gross. If you're one of those filthy hippies that thinks breastfeeding in public is okay, well, it's not. There are bottles and milk at the store. Don't act like a cow. <gasps> you really remind me of someone, by the way. See, Amy, you're putting the blinders of society on. We're all the same. I remind you of yourself, of every man and woman. Uh oh, uh oh. No, not of them. They're trying to outlaw nature. If I'm in the park and the nice gentleman comes along, I should be able to breastfeed him. Pretty soon, everything natural will become illegal. It's really depressing. If I die right now, would I get buried by a female priestess in a cave, surrounded by my favorite tools and ornaments? No! There was a time when children were taught about their bodies, about the goddess lady of the mammoths, about the importance of the spiral dance clutching a bison horn under the crescent moon. At the beaten wall shop where I grew up, we had classes that teach the importance of eating raw plant shellfish and understanding ancient crop circles. Oh, I love lobster. Have you ever tried talking to one? Energy flows from everything, even a tractor. My mother, the moon, taught me how to trace ley lines with your bare feet in a dirt. Listen, you're very weird, and you smell like patchouli and compost, and I think you might have a shot at a boyfriend if you shaved and got some gel in your hair and put some clothes that fit or something. I mean, please. Did Joan of Arbor I was given this fascinating pamphlet called Caucasian Female Body Hair in American Culture. And I love you like my sister, but can I help you find trade with in marketing assault? <laughs> Having hair is natural. What's the deal with the Texans? I mean, go to England. The women there don't shave their underarms.